what's up guys and welcome back to the hack spot now today i've been wanting to do a video that i've been wanting to do for such a long time that was a terrible sentence but this is this a room theater a room theater so i've been working on this for quite some time and i said that i would make a video on it and it's pretty cool so consider this the 400k special in this vlog type format a little too personal but anyways i'm gonna be showing you guys this room theater setup and how it works and it's gonna be epic, so let's do it. All right, so the first piece is this right here. Now, I'm actually using the portable projector that I reviewed a while back, and here it is. I want to upgrade soon in the future to maybe like a 4K projector, but as for right now, this is like a test guinea pig, and so far it has been working good. So it has one HDMI cable plugged in, and there's a power, so I always have it plugged in. This is meant to be portable, but I'm using it for a home theater. It doesn't really work. I mean, it works, but I believe I could get a better one for this price. All right, so what we did in the back over here is drilled this little holder thing that we made and drilled into the bed frame and put some sticky notes so I could just align it like that because you can't align it like any other way. You really have to position it, so that is kind of annoying. You got the focus dial right there. If my camera would focus, that's kind of ironic. So you got a focus dial right here. That's how you focus the projector. And I wanted this to be as far back as possible so I could basically get a big image over there. And by the way, this might look expensive, this right here. It's remote controlled. This is a remote, looks kind of cheap, but it works. So all you do is press this down button, this button's to stop, this button's to go back up. Pretty simple, and boom. So now it is going down. I'm going to, to give you guys a view of that. And this might look expensive, but it was only 200 bucks on Amazon, so that is pretty good, and this is a pretty big screen. This covers everything in the back, and that would be cool if there was a slow mode, but I'm <laughs> just kidding. And look at this, guys. It's absolutely massive. So there's a screen. It's a bit overkill because this is as far back as I could get my projector. But yeah, so because I want this as far back as possible, I have to route the wires through the bed frame over here, and it sits very flush. Look at that. Perfect. And just take it out. And so I kind of drilled a bunch of holes, and now we have this one big cloud. All right, now what we're going to be doing is hooking up that projector to three systems. The Xbox One, the Wii U, and I don't have the Switch yet. Hopefully, I'll be getting that soon. And the PS4, which I need to get. Okay, so here's the PS4 controller and of course makeshift ethernet so it can get better speeds all right so it looks absolutely horrific but we got all systems plugged in and I might get like a different stand for this where it has like different levels and that would be a lot cooler but for now I guess this has to do I mean it looks absolutely horrid and especially over here where the cable management will make you throw up twice so I'll fix that later too. I basically just need to tuck it back in there somehow and maybe untangle it. But there you go, all three systems are plugged in. But here's a problem, that's not the problem, but this is it. Okay, so it only has one HDMI port, so we are going to need a switch. So I picked up this right here and we're going to be unboxing it live. So that is what we need. We're just gonna plug this in and we got three HDMI ports and we can switch between them by pressing this button right here. So pretty cool. Kinda hard to do this with one hand. This has a cap. I'm gonna plug it in. There we go. So now we need to plug in all three systems into here. All right, so everything is all done and situated. So I've got all three systems plugged in. Got the button right there. And to make sure it doesn't fall behind the frame, I just kinda wired the wires like this, put it through there. And we are basically good to go. This is not the best solution for making it look good, but once it's done, that happened, so you can't really see it anyway, so. Now let's go to power her on. So I'm just gonna go and turn it on. Here are the fans, and of course I'm gonna turn off the lights. Cool, all right, so we need to focus it and align it. So just, so let's just focus it up quick until we get a clear picture, cool. All right, so there you go. I managed to get it pretty good with some sticky notes. I placed them on the bottom right side over here of underneath the projector. And now it seems pretty straight. I mean, it could be more perfect, of course, but I think it's pretty good for now. So we're going to be using the included remote and go to YouTube real quick. All right, so that was YouTube. Now let's go and switch over to HDMI to use our consoles. So here we go. 
and I'm going to be switching to between them using the HDMI switch. You guys can see that little light right there. So let's go in and let's try out Forza Motorsport 6 and they changed the Xbox interface. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Now to switch systems, pretty easy. I have the Wii U one. So all I gotta do is go over to the HDMI switch, hit the button. All right, so the battery of this died and the little pad thing, and he charged that too. But anyways, I need to find the charger. But again, to switch back, you can just scan. And there you go. Now you're back on Xbox, so that's pretty cool. Watch Netflix on Xbox or just hook up your computer. This guy off, and if you guys are wondering, well, how do you sleep now? I mean, there's that thing in the way. Well. It's pretty simple. There you go, cool. And by the way, if you're wondering how this is put up, there's just two hooks right there. So you just screw that in, screw it in on that side too. And then basically you just hang it on. Now this wire for the electric also runs down over here. The receiver is over here. It can still catch, you can also turn it up and down with this. So if I press the down button, this in case I lose a remote, I can still turn it up and down. So it's going down right now. And again, this make it go back up do whatever so there you go it's going back up so I kind of hide that back there because I never use it and that's only if I lose the remote but anyways that cable runs all the way down over here and connects to that power out pretty simple so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section below hope you guys enjoyed this video as always peace out